Hi guys and welcome to a new video on the channel. I'm back again with a new tutorial and this time it's the corner tutorial. Five ways to take your corners. As you may have seen, I've got a little trauma at corners because I lost the EDVC final due to a 120th minute corner. Spanning nip two, a long pause at But that won't stop me from teaching you, of course, how to take them in different ways and how we pros do it. First, of course, you want to head the ball with the player that has maybe aerial plus. For example, players like Haaland, players like Luc de Jong, players like Surloff. Cards like that are really, really good for corners. And if possible, if you're gonna be in a team, you want to take with players with dead ball plus, great dead ball. If not, they just have to have good stats. But of course, the dead ball play styles can help in the accuracy of the corner. I've prepared five ways for you to score from a corner kick. Four of them will be direct corners and I've got one, a short variant. So let's get straight into it. So the first one is really basic. It's with a player, a right footed one on the right side or even a left footed one on the left side is the same principle. We aim it like all the way to the right and then about three and a half bars of power, I believe, almost full power, just not full power. In this case, if your opponent doesn't move his GK, you will guarantee yourself a goal. We just have to, of course, remember that we have to aim manually, but from five yards out, that's not uh, something difficult. And now the next one. This one is with a uh, right for the player on the left or left for the player on the right. In this case, our opponent doesn't move his GK. So we got to aim it again at around the penalty spot. Same power basically as the first one. Almost full power, but not full power, of course, because then the ball will go all the way to the back post, just like three and a half bars of power, I believe. And then again, we can head it in because he has got aerial plus and he will win that header. So these were the first two variants. I think these were the most simple ones for if your opponent doesn't move his GK. Now let's get over to the short variant. What's really important with the short variant is that you call a player short. You can do this already before the corner kick animation is there by just spamming R1. Or of course, when you take the corner, you just call him with R1 after. But I, I prefer to do it that he's already there. So I spam R1 straight off the shot. So we take it short. Then we stand still to let the corner taker uh, make a run around us. You pass it to the player that took the corner initially. Then you gotta use the player lock. So player lock is not an easy mechanic, so this is a more advanced uh, corner. In this case, you press L3 and R3 at the same time. Then switch with the right stick to the player you want to select. In this case, we want the player at the back post because that's where we're gonna make a run. Then you try to make a run to the back post Press square for the cross to uh, go to him. Hopefully you got a free header there at the back post. And I think in this case, it's of course better if you got a player who's good in the air, but you can do it with pretty much anyone. Okay, up next, a bit more complicated again, because in this uh, situations, our opponent will move the goalkeeper. So the first two variants will not be effective. What we do now is select player who wants who we want to head the ball. So I think in this case, it's Highland, and we take the corner with KDB. I believe has a great dead ball, but don't pin me on that. So in this case, uh, it's a right for the player on the left and a, a left for the player on the right. So we see that our opponent moves his GK. So we've got an option. We go second post or we go first post. In this instance, we will go first post. So what we're trying to do is first fake, of course, our opponent that we're going to go second post. So we make a run that we pretend like going to the second post just for him to not make it easy to mark us. Then we make a run to the first post, we aim the corner around the penalty spot again. Almost the same as the first variant, but in this uh, scenario, put way uh, lower power on it, maybe one, one and a half bar of power. It depends on the player as well, because not every player takes the corners the same way. So you need to uh, experiment with your own corner taker, how, uh, how much bars of power you need. And then we make a run to the first post. His keeper is already out of his goal. And that makes it really easy for us to just head that goal and in that case, there's no keeper there, so it will be a goal. And we're on to the last variant. And in this one, we're going to go to the second post. So go right to the player on the left and a left to the player on the right. Again with KDB, again with Haaland. This is the first time we're actually going to change something with the right stick. Put the right stick all the way down to the right so that we get an inside curve for the ball. Then we aim it a bit further, like between the penalty spot and the 20 yard box. We need to put a lot of power on it. Again, like almost full power. We make a run that we go to the, we pretend like we go to the first post and then we go to the far post, the second post, and then we can head it in. 
So guys, these were five ways to score your corners in FC24. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it. Subscribe on the channel and I'll catch you for the next time. Bye.